I've avoided this video for so long. The last time we covered Natalie Decker on this channel was four years ago, and this third time will more than likely be the last. We've waited long enough, and unless we get any other major updates from this point on, I don't see a point in doing a fourth video, but you never know. Anyways, one of my major predictions that did not age well at all was saying that Natalie Decker could perhaps be the real deal. She showcased some potential in her days of go-karting as well as late model racing. And since she's a woman in a male dominated sport, that's obviously going to get some extra attention, whether you like it or not. After the real deal video dropped, she ended up seeing it and left a thank you comment. The two videos I did on her took place in 2018 when she was in ARCA driving for Venturini Motorsports. While she had some moments, she mostly underperformed in that equipment, only scoring two top fives and nine top tens in a full-time season, finishing seventh in points out of all seven full-time teams. But I felt she still had a shot as long as she took her time in ARCA. Boy was I wrong, because instead of doing that, she decides to do the exact opposite. Move up to the NASCAR Truck Series. The plans were to run a partial schedule for DGR Crosley. And to say this decision backfired is an understatement. Natalie Decker's 2019 season in the NASCAR Truck Series will forever live in infamy. A season that was so bad it's considered one of the worst in NASCAR history. Some left front damage in that 54 truck. And a lot of damage to the hood on her truck as well. Look at, look how that tire has destroyed the fender and the hood on that truck. She's got more issues than that. She's tore her oil line off right there. Here is what Natalie Decker was dealing with. And you, you could see the fire come around the A post, yep. the window post, back into the driver's uh, cockpit. What a crazy start to the race. The 54 of Natalie Decker. Decker was running in the top 20, Phil, doing a nice job early. Looks like she just got a little bit loose. There was a truck close to her. And I think probably there's the, the contact right there. I'm not sure there was contact that led to the spin. I don't think though. so either, Ben. And it's Natalie Decker again, really about the same spot. I think those tire tracks just ahead of her are where she came through the grass <laughs> the first time exactly. earlier today. There's Natalie Decker. It's almost tough to tell through the, yeah. the okay. wet lens. That's all the moisture that's on the track. And Natalie Decker and Jinjo Cop maybe got together just a little bit. And there's a spinner, and it's the 54 of Natalie oh. Decker. Wow, look at the damage that the transition from pavement to grass did to that truck. Phil, we talked at the start of this broadcast about how difficult it is to keep control of your truck when you're down on the bottom. It just got loose. No air on that right rear fender because of the outside. Watch this damage right here. Traffic and then bam. Wow. Look at that contact. It was so free. I couldn't do anything about it. It already sucked to drive. It was just, it was free at the beginning of the race. And then that just made it 10 times worse. I was literally trying as hard as I could and saw it on the wheel. It was so, so free after we hit the wall. This thing doesn't feel right. I, I, I would imagine. Uh, Boyd. He Maybe made get into the con a little contact there with the 54. Yeah, it looks like Natalie got into the inside wall there. And that's the 54 of Natalie Decker. Now the upper right portion of your screen, and you'll see the 97. Oh, a big oh, man, hit. big hit. Natalie Decker is in the 54. We'll see what happens here. He's in the middle of the screen, the orange strike. He's going to dip below Decker, and the 54 bounces up just wasn't quite clear nope. of Natalie and she was holding her line and they clipped uh they clipped Boyd into that outside wall. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> One of the most embarrassing seasons, not just in all of NASCAR history, 
but motorsports in general. 19 starts, 9 DNFs. Whatever hype she had entering the 2019 season quickly died out. Instead of being considered a potential prospect, she was looked at more as a meme. Although she was coming off of one of the worst seasons ever, Natalie Decker would end up reaching her peak at the start of 2020. Stay to the bottom, stay to the bottom, stay to the bottom. How about a top 10, ladies and gentlemen? A top 5 for you there, Miss Decker? Yeah, that is awesome. Those last two laps are so fun. Congratulations on your first top five. With that fifth place finish at Daytona, she became the highest finishing female in truck series history. Considering she was coming off of one of the worst seasons ever, that was pretty remarkable. Unfortunately for the rest of the season, she would not come close to that performance, only scoring a best finish of 20th, but she only had four DNFs instead of nine this year. Three of which were due to mechanical failures, and the only crash she was involved in wasn't her fault. The trend of rushing up the the latter continued in 2021 as she made five starts in the NASCAR Xfinity Series for RSS Racing and the Rayoon Brothers. She ended up with a best finish of 24th at Talladega, an average finish of 29.4 with a total of two DNFs, both of which took place on road courses, the first being on the Daytona road course on lap three in her debut and the last one at Road America where she was so off the pace that NASCAR Twitter was begging her to get off the track. Even though she wasn't racing as much and certainly wasn't improving performance wise, she was at least doing stuff outside of NASCAR, like running a team, winning races in the local ranks, and also running some sports car races. She was also streaming more on the side, and let's not forget, hanging out with my boyfriend, Derek. So yesterday I went down what I would call a bit of a TikTok rabbit hole. It all started when this video came across my timeline. This girl says when you have been dating for six years and he still hasn't proposed. When this came out, I could not believe it was real. A popular YouTuber by the name of Jamari, who I absolutely love, ended up covering Natalie Decker and her boyfriend Derek in one of his videos because one of the TikToks they had made was going viral for all of the wrong reasons and they were getting crucified on there. If you're gonna put your relationship on the internet like that, you have to be ready for some type of blowback. The response to all of the criticism could have been handled better. They did two separate TikTok videos addressing the criticism, both of which felt extremely uncomfortable. So many of you hate my boyfriend right now and it hurts my heart. I met the right one. I knew since day one and I will propose to you. When you first saw me when I was 14 and you were 18, is that when you knew? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, that right there was just actually pretty weird to me. Pretty soon after this upload, Derek ended up responding and Jamari made a follow-up video. There was absolutely nothing to gain whatsoever. He ended up making the situation worse. Again, if you put your relationship stuff on the internet like that, expect to be criticized. As for Natalie Decker's NASCAR career, she continued to race in 2022, making three Xfinity Series starts, one of which she had to withdraw because the sponsor was not approved by NASCAR, and then at the start of the season, she had to deal with Bush Light along with some other female drivers, but that fell through quickly. So now fast forward to 2023, and her most recent moment in NASCAR is this TikTok that ended up getting her criticized from all parts of the fan base and the recent news that she is going to be on OnlyFans. It seems like Natalie Decker, the 25-year-old driver from Wisconsin, will be starting an OnlyFans account soon. Yeah, I said that right. Those are the rumors out there, screenshots here. It's definitely something that would not be thought of with this sport. I personally don't see the point in buying this stuff, but if that's your thing, to each their own. And to Natalie Decker, more power to her. It's a free country and nobody is forcing you to pay for it. However, what effect this will have on her NASCAR career moving forward with sponsors and the sanctioning body remains to be seen. Only time will tell how this will affect her racing career moving forward, but in conclusion, the Natalie Decker experience has had a ton of twists and turns or wrecks and spins, if you wanna call it. Four years later, and those real deal videos have aged poorly. But hey, you can't get every prediction right. Let me know in the comments what you think about Natalie Decker and her recent news. Where does her career go from here? Do you think we'll end up doing another video on Decker? Let me know down in the comments below. And once again, that'll do it for another video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time. Um, which way do I go? Are you kidding? You go to the left. Are you sure? God damn it, yes, of course I'm sure. It's always to the left. It's only ever been to the left. Son of a bitch. All right, you're going to have to make a pit stop soon. I don't think I can do that. Why? Because I'm stuck in a tree. I'm f***ing done.